German mosque sounds first public call to prayer amid protests by ex-Muslims. On October 14th, the Cologne Central Mosque in Germany, for the first time, sounded the azan, the Muslim call to prayer, using its two outside loudspeakers. The public call to prayer is the result of a controversial two-year trial deal made with authorities in which the Friday call would last at least would last less than five minutes and at a noise level pre-authorized according to its location. 35 other mosques in the city are also allowed to participate should they fulfill the required permitting. Mayor Henriette Raker said, quote, if we also hear the call of the, uh, what, what's this German word? Uh, Muslim? Mus Sorry, I'm just going to say Muslim. If we all also hear the call of I know, I think this is the German word for mosque. If we also hear the call of the mosque in our city alongside church bells, that shows the di that diversity is appreciated and lived in Cologne. About 20 protesters showed up for the event holding signs across the street reading no uh, mosque call in Cologne. A public, and also, quote, public space should be ideologically neutral. Director of the Frankfurt Research on Global Islam, Suzanne uh, Schroter, said that she worries that this could be seen as a win for Islamist hardliners. Why do they have ridiculous protests like this? Sometimes I think it does more harm than good. Okay, so what are your th views on this? They're, um, the broadcasting of the Azan. In Germany, so we in talked about this when this motion was first put forward a few years ago, and then now it's actually commencing. It's actually beginning. Um, I don't like it. Um, I, yeah, especially with this particular mosque that was at the center of this first public call prayer is the big central mosque that was inaugurated by... Turkey's president, Recep Erdogan. Um, so I like Erdogan's power in Germany is actually frightening how he has the power to like unleash literal goons to harass people and assault them in the streets of Germany. So there's like some political connection there that I have serious questions about. Um, I think, okay, here's the deal. If we're being consistent, then there shouldn't be church bells either. But is cologne the city of cologne going to stop doing the church bells over what, what do they call the giant cathedral there the dome where we went armin no i don't think they're going to mm. do that no so yeah and, and the i think if they're being consistent then they should also do this but i don't like it i don't think it should be allowed i think it should be secularized what secularized how like yeah. if there isn't a if there isn't an azan in public then should there not should church bells in public also not be allowed i think if you are asking for only one of them to be removed then you're not being consistent exactly and that's my point yeah you're right yeah so and i think the protesters are not asking for the bell to be removed so they are are they being well, some of them to... are a lot of them are saying that the public space should be ideologically neutral i mean it, the public space can't be ideologically neutral but i think because the public space is where you could bring different viewpoints that's all the point whole point of public space right you could have i don't know islamic events christian events if the public space is supposed to be neutral how are you going to have christmas celebrations in the public like you can't oh my god and like, germans go hardcore for a public christmas celebration yeah i think we were i mean it's, and i mean they do a fantastic job about it too it's really enjoyable <laughs> yeah okay like here's my point okay public spaces it's government spaces that have to be religiously neutral public spaces can be religiously neutral uh because they're supposed to be public that means everybody gets to use it and but I still have a problem with that, and I will tell you what it is, right? Um, I think it is, the, the message behind it is very different than the church bell itself. No, 
That's not what I, my problem is. My problem well, is that so. you can't. My problem is that you can't butt out. Okay, like if there is a Christmas um, event or a, or a booth with some Muslims inviting you to come and learn about Islam in public. Like I'm not opposed to that, right? Like let's say, for example, you have like I don't know a gathering in a park where Muslims are coming and say like, "Welcome to Islam. Let me teach you about Islam," right? And it's in a public space. Uh, the public it should be allowed, even though. So again, if it's allowed, that means the public space is not neutral because we have a, Muslims. They have their pamphlets. They're inviting you to Islam, and it's in public, and it should be completely allowed. It shouldn't be allowed on I don't know government pro- like in a court. Or, or in the police station or something like that, but in a public park, it should be allowed. However, the difference is that if I don't want to go to that booth, I can just skip right past, right? Or if there is a Christmas event and I don't want to attend, I could just skip it. I should, you know, if, even if it's in the park, I could just not go if I don't want to go, right? But the thing is that the azan and church bills are imposed on you, okay? So I cannot not hear it. Like if I live there, I am being technically forced to listen to the Adhan or church bells. I just wish that this level of anti, you know, the, so I agree. I am I'm, I'm against the Adhan being played in public or church bells. But the fact is that if you're sensitive now, it shows that this is not really about principles here. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, if you had a, if these groups had a history of being against church bills then it would have been easier for us to believe that this is about what they say this is about i don't know maybe i'm being too picky here i mean to a certain extent i do actually think they rightly see it as an islamization of germany especially with some of the organizations that are involved um in, in terms of who was pushing for this right um but Armin, in terms of what you were saying about the public space and stuff and it not being ideologically neutral, how does that, do you, okay, if the public space is not ideologically neutral, then why do you have a problem with people giving namaz in public, say in Guru Gram in India, like we were talking about earlier in the show? Oh, only because they're blocking the road. Mm-hmm. Not because, you know, only, that's the only reason. Not because you can't, you know, not because you can't have religion in public. The public sphere is where you have everything. So how could that be neutral when you have like atheists coming out and advocating for whatever they are, secularists, uh, religious people, different political groups? Like it's the least ideological neutral place. It's supposed to be a mishmash of ideas competing with each other. That's the whole. That's how we want the public sphere to be, not neutral. Mm-hmm. No, that the issue is like you are. Again, the issue with them praying in, in the road is the same thing with the Adhan. It's like, I can't opt out. Like, you're in my goddamn way. Like, I cannot, like, you're blocking the road that was there for me to drive through, right? And the Adhan is, again, the problem with the Adhan is, like, I can't butt out of this. I can't, like, say, like, no, thank you. Like, I, if I live here, I have to listen to this. So that's the problem with the Adhan. Yeah. Should, I just wanted to ask you so, that. So, so, so clarifying. I think the public sphere does not have to be neutral, but pe- but people should be able to not be exposed to it. Like if it's in public, if somebody doesn't want it, they should be able to say like, not, you know, remove remove themselves from it. Yeah, remove themselves from it. That's what it. Yeah, that's yeah I just wanted to ask you that because I feel like that could be an area where people like try to point us as, as hypocrites or something. I think it's a good question. I think I think we're being very consistent here. Yeah. Um, one thing that I do think is different, I think, I actually do think that church bells and the Azan are fundamentally different though, because church bells are typically used to just demark the time. And in, in, I don't want to hear it. If I don't want to no, hear no, it, like, why am I being Let me finish. It? Let me finish. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. I don't want to hear it either. Okay. When I went to a Catholic college and I was taking a nap. Okay. And I'd get woken up at noon because the church bells start going off crazy. And particularly at noon, I'd get pissed off. Okay. I want to finish my nap. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> trust, I'm, I'm, I, I completely agree. I don't want to hear it either. But um, what I'm saying is 
in most instances that I'm used to in my lifetime, especially growing up Catholic, church bells are usually sounded on the hour, sounded a little bit more at noon or sounded on very special occasions for maybe weddings or something, or maybe you sounded a little bit extra for baptisms or something when people are leaving. Um, but the Zahn is fundamentally different because although it is demarking the time in a certain way, because it's demarking the time for prayer, it's not just a demarcation of time. It is also a declaration of the supremacy of Allah in the public space, mm. which is much different than just church bells for the sake of letting people know what time it is. I don't want to control religious. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't know if I, the message of the religious is why we should like, are we like now coming up with government policies on what's allowed or what's not allowed based on- No, no, no. I wasn't advocating for policies on the basis of this difference. I'm just saying, I think that there is a difference between the two. There's a difference, but when it comes to making policy decisions, the only thing that matters is that they're religious. No, I agree. I agree. Or the ideas that are being imposed on people. So for me, from that, in that sense, the Adhan and the church bills are in one category and mm -hmm. they should be treated the same. Yeah. Anyways, I think we're, we're good at being consistent here. So, but this, this public call to prayer thing is in a trial period for two years. So it'll be interesting to see, see if after two years they keep it or if they rescind this program. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if they keep it, to be honest. Some, something I don't remember saying, sorry, but public places are not for religious purposes. How are you saying that? Like, even in France, which is the most secular god goddamn country in the world, I think, you could have Jehovah's Witnesses in a park handing out pamphlet, pamphlets about inviting people to Jehovah's Witness. Like, I think something allowed. I don't remember is referencing you talking about giving the Muslim in public. Look, namaz in public is an issue because they're just blocking roads, not because it's religion in public spaces. Like in the same place, if if Muslims come out like in a park and be like, have inviting people to Islam without harassing people, that should be allowed. Like I don't understand how what law would ever be able to ban that. Like it shouldn't. The public sphere is where people are free. That's where you exercise freedom of expression the most. Exactly. So people, and, and, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we're um, going to limit there, like we're limiting how what people can say in private places because it's your it's your area. Mm -hmm. right? Government spaces, we're limiting that. Private spaces, like this is my place. I get to decide what the rules are. The only place that is left for us to exercise free speech will be public spaces. You can't take that one away. Yeah, like when France was about to, they put forward a motion in one of their houses of parliament to like ban the hijab in public for all girls under 18 or something. We were so against that. Yeah, that was insane. It's like way too authoritarian. Yeah, I mean, even France does allow people in public spaces to come out and invite people to their religion and stuff like that. Yeah, the issue with that then is not that it's in public. The issue with that then is that it's being imposed on people without their will without their consent yeah, yeah, it's, not, yeah. It's, it's not i'm not consenting to hearing this right that's the problem you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw muhammad hindu goddesses sexy hijabi art jesus mother mary japanese god greek gods and much much more click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art